Ben Chesterfield take all three points today in a real big battle on Easter Monday. What did you make of the game? Yeah, look, they, was, they played really well, to be fair to them. You know, they moved the ball really well, caused us all sorts of problems throughout the ball and um, had to sort of try and change our shape within game to try and match them up, to try and stop them. Um, yeah, but look, it was, it was a tough game and credit to them. They, you know, they deserved the three points. It was probably a one little lapse in concentration where they ended up getting the goal. Um, and they had lots of final third entries in possession, but we you know, had no real glaring chances. Um, probably at the end of the first half, so we had breakaways where we maybe could have done a little bit better when we was getting out. But um, yeah, look, fairness to them, they played really well, and we obviously wasn't as good on the ball as we was on Friday. Um, giving away a little bit too much, a bit, a bit of bravery to get our foot on it and to make some passes. Um, but look, all in all, I think they deserved the victory. I'm not going to stand here and say they didn't deserve it. It was just tough the way we conceded the goal. In terms of our performance, then, what were you happy with, and what are the things that you're going to look to improve on? Yeah, look, I just think it's like I'm saying, the, the work rate and the endeavours there. Um, but it's, it's knowing when to press when we can, uh, the communication when we can let players run off of us and go on to other people, so we pass people on rather than going back with them and getting deeper because we don't want to get deeper. Um, and it's having that bravery to bring the ball down and make some passes. I thought against ball we were competing really good in you know, all the physical duels, but then we actually got the ball down and moved it, whereas today we looked a little bit nervy with the ball. Um, Maybe that was because they was having a lot of possessions and always getting it was turning over because he was a little bit tired or maybe it's because a little bit worried about you know playing at home. Because we won the last couple of games at home, so maybe that was it as well. I don't know. I'm trying now. I'm learning about them every day. I'm saying this and to them after today. I'm learning about them every single game. I'm learning about them every day in training. And I just felt like they looked a bit nervous to give the ball away today rather than go in. I'm not going to give the ball away. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to move it for us. And I probably would have built us into the game a little bit better. One in full's changing today as Rob Owens out for the first time this season. What's the cause of his injury? And is he okay? Yeah, he went into a real big challenge at the back end of the game against Ballwood and hurt his knee. And um, a little bit of that today as well, you know. Westy and Angelo were starting today, you know. Um, we sort of touch and go yesterday where I'd start them to as well because of the minutes they played and the, the players they are for us. So, yeah, made the change with Robbo. Obviously, meant a bit of a change of shape as well with only having two sort of midfielders there and then Angelo playing ahead of him. Big Sid coming on a wing and West Hills on the other side so a little bit of a change of shape and hopefully Robbo's going to be okay we're going to have to see how the next couple of days he was nowhere near playing today but we'll have to see um, for the weekend or next week when he'll be back um, but yeah look it was again people getting chances you know Sid deserved it after where he played the last home game here he only missed out the weekend because he hadn't fully trained so it was uh, only right that he went straight back into the team as well he was, he was ready to go. Look at head south end now then what can we learn from today's game and take into that one? No, I just think I just said to the players after the game about South End, you know, I'm well aware of what it means to the people and meant to the fans and, and who we are and what we represent. It's going to be a big game, you know, they're, they're in and around us as well. They've had a season where they've had all sorts of things going off the pitch, but then they've had a team and a management team that's really conducted themselves really well on, on every single game they played. So, look, it'll be a tough test, but, um, you know, they went, we went there and won last year, so we can go there and win. And I know how much it will mean to the people and how much it means to our fans. So hopefully we can go there and put in a, a strong performance. It's been a hard bank holiday weekend and I was desperate to try and get another three points and make it six out of possible six. Um, we've only got the three. We've got to now really focusing on the next two away games in terms of South End and Altrinum. And I'm, I'm desperate to end, end the season well here as well. I don't want any, I want to be, I want home form has got to be the foundations of a real point. Um, if you win away at Torquay and Bournemouth, hopefully at South End, any team like that, that's, they're all the bonuses in this league. Home form gets you playoffs. So for us next year and end this season, I want to win home games. That's got to be our biggest thing. Win the home games and then whatever you get on the road takes care of itself. But um, look, it'll be a tough test, but I'm looking forward to it. It's a great game. Fantastic people, uh, management team, get on really well with Kev and Darren Curry and people like that. So we're, we'll be trying to beat each other. So it's a good game for all of us to look forward to and um, hopefully we come back with three points.